Hi everyone, good morning. Today I'm gonna to come out here and work on getting these LED lights installed that go up under the truck. I'm really looking forward to getting these installed. You know I was using some uh, solar powered lights that I had. I had one that was left over, uh, so I was putting it under the truck uh, every night, bringing it out in the morning to recharge. Not ideal, but uh, always thinking that I was going to install some undercarriage lights, so that's what I'm going to be working on. So I ordered this set of lights I think last, last summer when I was here, and I never got around to installing them, so it's finally time to do it. Uh, I started on this project the other day, I mentioned it in a past video, and it turned out that the controller that this uh, set came with, uh, it's an infrared IR controller, so it's line of sight with the remote, and so many times those can travel good distances, but this one, the remote had to be within three feet of the controller. And because of the design of this kit, the controller was going to be installed under the truck. These are the four strips. You get two that are 24 inches long and you get two that are 36 inches long. And these are, I'm gonna call it hardwired. Uh, they're, they're wired and they're sealed in plastic tubes. These are made for going under a vehicle. So they're inside of some sealed tubes and then the wires were hardwired into the controller. And that I was not really expecting. I was expecting these to have uh, a controller that the wires would need to be connected up to. And because I was expecting that, you know, you can lengthen those wires, put the controller wherever you want. Well, because these were hardwired and these wires are only so long, this controller would have had to mount under the truck. And because the remote could only travel three feet, not gonna work. I'm gonna connect them up to this new LED controller that I have. This is Bluetooth. So there's an app that I'll put on my phone, very similar to the ones I have inside the truck. There's an app that controls the colors, and you can do all kinds of fancy stuff. You can have them change colors, flash different colors, uh, keep beat to the music, all kinds of stuff. I'm just going to probably turn them on like white to keep the mice away. What I'm going to do before I start doing anything on the truck, I'm going to wire this all up here and test it to make sure that this can control four strips of LEDs through a section of wire that's going to be about, I'm estimating about 10 or 12 feet long. They're going to be awesome. Hi. You going to sneeze? I saw that coming. <laughs> All right, I just pulled these two containers out from under my bed. They, they get stored in this cabinet here under the bed. Uh, wire, hold downs, heat shrink, terminals. These are the solderless uh, wire union. So all of my, uh, kind of my electronics kit. And then this box is just uh, a lot of uh, leftover pieces and parts and wires and um, just things that can't bring myself to not carry with me. Hey, some 3M VHB tape. So I'm gonna pull this all out into the garage, get my electronics tools out, my crimpers and strippers and all of that stuff. Have you gotten yourself kind of barricaded up here? Oh! I know, okay. Okay, come back around here. Around this way, there you go. Don't knock the camera off of the stool, my man. everything wired up I'll just give you a quick overview of what I've got going on here and this is just for testing so I wired in the four strips they're all joined together to the other end of this long lead and I've got about probably 25 feet I didn't cut it I just left it the full length 
and then I've got positive and negative. These were just some scrap wires I had laying around. I threw a fuse on the end. So I'm gonna go ground this, put that on the bus bar up in the power cabinet. Uh, before I do all that, I'm gonna download and install the app and uh, then we'll connect it up to power and see what happens. Those should light up once we do all that. It says it's going to turn it on. There we go. Red is red, green is green, blue is blue, purple is purple, and white is white. Okay, so you see on the controller they give you the like a pinwheel of color so you can touch anywhere and change the colors. And then you can set your own presets down here. So you can see it fading from color to color. So these are all different customizations that they have in there. So, whoa, yeah, that might keep the mice away. So it looks like you can set timing alarms. Well, that's perfect. So I could set this to come on at sundown and then you could set it in the morning to shut back off. That is cool, excellent, okay. So now it's time to install it in the truck. All right. All right, I've gone ahead and run the LED wire from the cabinet all the way outside. So it's just running through some existing holes that I have out to the outside cabinet. So it comes out right there and then it feeds down through this hole here comes into this cabinet right here heads straight down it's piggybacking along with some other wires that go through so I have it now uh, it's up under the truck now it's figuring out where I'm going to affix the four light strips so I've been laying up under the truck trying to figure out the best place Good morning. We're day two of the LED light installation. Lefty is uh, geared up for his supervisory role. I know, I know. He's telling me to get back to work, Dad. Uh, so I'm cleaning the mount area. You know, it's got the 3M double-sided tape. So I've degreased the area really good. Really just dirt, road dirt. And now I'm going to uh, use some sandpaper. Uh, this is 400 grit, but just to smooth the, the surface as much as I can. And then I'll hit it with the isopropyl, and then we'll go ahead and stick the lights on. Because of the way my brain works, this is how I'm cleaning it. I'm not saying this is the way to do it, but this is how I'm doing it. I'm starting with a general purpose cleaner. And what I'm cleaning is it's actually the continuation of this diamond plate material the back side of it that's smooth as it is uh, three or four inches up under the truck so it's just got some road dirt and such stuck to it uh, no corrosion no grease so I'm starting with just the general purpose cleaner really soaking it down wiping it a few times with that then I hit it with some super clean if there's any remnants of any grease on there super clean believe me we'll take it off this stuff in its full strength like this right out of the bottle will cut through pretty much anything that i've put it on so uh, I'm just, then i hit it with this uh, give it a wipe down and then after that i go with the 400 grit sandpaper and that really smoothed it out then after the sandpaper then it's a final wipe with the isopropyl alcohol and once that dries up then it's ready to to peel and stick the lights on
this is where I'm going to attach it. Uh oh. My supervisor is yelling at me for taking a break. Sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'll get right back to work. I was just talking to the folks. Okay? I'll get right back to work. You're right. Shouldn't be taking breaks. Beautiful day today. Great day to be out here working. I'm sorry. Did you have something to say? Talk to the camera if you're going to talk. Okay? What? Okay, I'll get back to work. I'm sorry. This was a real chore. This is the tiniest wire I think I've ever worked on. So getting ready to mount the controller, it's gonna go right about there. Uh, that black box, that's the Wii Boost. It's gonna go right above that on the wall. So I'm just getting the wires tidied up adding a switch here so that I can hit a switch and turn on the undercarriage lights. So I tinned the wires that are the final connections to the controller, uh, you know, put solder on them so that they're easier to fit into these terminals. So these last connections here, and that's it. We should be able to flip the switch and test it out. Last but not least, that's it. All right. Woo! Let's uh, flip our switch. We should get a blue light, and we do. There's our controller. It is showing up. All right, so the last step is to just get a couple screws, and we're just gonna tack that controller right up on the wall there. I do believe that's it. Oh my goodness. I will... Uh, tidy the wires here in a little bit and but uh, we're fully functional that's it wow what a job
got something. Oh. Oh. Oh, your leash is too short. Oh my god. I can't even. What? God. God. Oh. 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 Just hold it and look at what's inside of it. Lefty. Except for Lefty. Hold on, we got a note in here. From Ken. Ken, thank you, brother. He's figured out it's for him. Oh, yeah. These things really made his teeth improve. Thank you so much. Hold on. Oh, these are the big jumbos. Get that. Oh, yeah. Thank you everyone for watching the video. This installation of these LEDs turned out to be quite a lot of work. Uh, they look great, don't get me wrong, and I'm hoping that it's gonna help to keep the mice from coming under the truck, especially the strobing, like the white strobe. So would I recommend the kit that I installed on there? I, I wouldn't. It worked, but a lot of work and not something that I would wish on anybody. I think a better route would be is to get the, the weather resistant LED strips that you can add your own wires onto so the length of the wire doesn't matter and then you can run them all the way and up inside the rig to your own controller like a Bluetooth controller like I did. That's what I would recommend. I had bought these like over a year ago so there was, you know, I was, I couldn't return them so I was stuck with them so I made do. All the soldering and everything I had to do while laying on my back up under the truck, I would not want anybody to have to go through that. So I'm not going to recommend the kit that I bought. Do I recommend putting LEDs under the truck? Yes. You might notice there in the background a new Iceco 63 quart cooler that just showed up today. I'm going to be plugging that thing in after it rests and we're going to test it, see how much power it draws and how well it can maintain temperature. Lefty and I thank you for watching the video. Everybody take care, be safe, and we'll see you all again really soon. To see what how I was... Oh my god. Fucking pain in me.